Well, I've, <sighs> got, um, well, I've got one more question for you before we move yes, on. Um, I'm going to be getting into a bit of a guest mix for the last 20, 25 minutes. I don't know. I'm in a good mood. I might carry on for a bit longer. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're going to... I want to ask you a question purely because this is the last thing I had written down. Um, obviously, wow. we have seen an influx of live performances recently. Yep. Um, we've seen an influx of studio recordings recently in regards to studio live sessions. Glitch Africa being a, gr- a big one um, that we've seen yeah. a lot of really good ones yeah. on. Um, the last mid session is really good. Um, obviously, oh. the Feels one was fantastic as well. Yeah. Um, I wasn't too keen on Remmers. I didn't really think they hit the mark as much because um, mm. they were very, very acoustic. And I don't think they really yeah. did. The tunes that he was doing were already super acoustic anyway. So it just felt yeah. a little bit like it wasn't yeah. necessary. However, I want to talk about colors. Oh. Because we have seen an influx of four, in my opinion, very notable performances. Um, mm-hmm. First of all, shouts out to Aira Star. She shared, she reacted. Yeah, she, yeah. I saw that, she, I saw that. She, she, did, saw that. What is it? she replied to the reaction on, on, on her TikTok, so I was very excited Yeah, it was just that. amazing, man. Yeah, um, great, big up Aira. great look. Um, yeah, come on. Yeah, day. alongside this, I want to kind of ask you, um, mm. have you got a favourite out of the four colour sessions that have landed in this recent um, Oxlade I wouldn't let you finish Oxlade Oxlade's your favourite that's interesting <laughs> yeah. I find that interesting I find that really you know why? why the thing is why Oxlade's one is so great is because normally I don't know if anyone has paid any attention to colours for a while at least I'm talking about two years now and a bit when this started people would go there and perform their songs that we already know so for instance maybe Whiskey to go there and perform Essence for instance but now there's a change. People are actually releasing a new song using the platform, which is amazing. I love it. So for, I love it, I yeah, love it as, as a kind of, you really you, say, you get this song and you save it and you go, I'm going to put that one out on colors. Hey, like I love 100%. the way that works. 100%. And that's why I'll, I'm so gassed anytime I see. And now that we already know, we know this, it's not a secret. Afrobeats is now the number one genre. Whether people want to argue about it or not, I don't care. That's what it is now. So every single platform are targeting the people that are making the airwaves wave, I would say, for, for the lack of better well, word. I mean, following but, from the, I mean, if you look at the BET Awards and the way yeah, they went. Exactly. Um, so it, well, the, fact, the fact that it was the first, it, the fact that it was the first one. Thank you very it's, much. It's the fact that it was the first, I think it's the first time a non-American song has won, yes. has won the yes. best collaboration. Big I might facts. be wrong on that, Big but facts. I think, no, I think no, no, no. You are not wrong. Trust me. It is the first time. Big facts. So I get it. I see the shift. I'm excited about it. And that's why I, I'll always say we should tell our stories before they do. And when I say they, I'm talking about those big corporations that just want to make money. Uh, you get it? It's like they're not here for the love of the genre. They don't care about the culture that much. They just want to make their money, which is fine. Do you know what I mean? If I was in that business too, I might want to do the same. So it's no crime. But it's good that we're doing this yourself, myself, um, goals. I might forget names today. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm there trying to say Viv, you know, and I'm there yeah. thinking, what's, what's the name? <laughs> just Viv. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean? E-Man, all of us in our group and other, other people that we might up, obviously uh, have Fe- come across. Up Phoenix as well. I've been watching Phoenix a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix, yeah, exactly. Phoenix. I was just, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so Phoenix as well. And all those, like, we are genuinely enjoying what we do. And in some way, we're telling stories, right? Now, we don't have a massive stake in the genre in the sense where we're not making like millions of it. Now, the difference is the people making millions would now push it and shove in people's throat and eyes as well because they need to make the money. And now it's everywhere. Now, international artists that would never want to vibe with an uh, with Af- Afro beats now would be like, yo, let me jump on it. Like Chris Brown has shared his Mona Lisa remix. Do you know how many times he's shared it on his social media? No. It's unbelievable. That's one he of the now, big, that, is, that is one of the biggest tunes of the year. That's my it point. Is, is yeah, crazy. exactly. So that's the thing. Before, back in the days, it would just be a one share. Done. Do you know, do you you know, when, I, do you know when I knew the original was one of the biggest tunes worldwide? Mm. I was mm. watching a Sidemen video. Ah, and Toby yes. turns. Toby yes. turns around and says, "There's a point where he, they're, they're all asking each other their favorite songs of the year, doing like doing mm-hmm. one of the, the Mukbang videos." Yeah. And he says, "Probably the most one I've listened to most is Mona Lisa, Low Jan Stars." Yeah, of course. And, 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 I, and again, I was like, that's, that's the fact that I've heard that on a Sidemen video is crazy. Exactly. And do you know what I mean? Shout out Toby, he's Nigerian. He's just, you know what I mean? I'm so happy that he's sticking to roots. That's good because no one would have mentioned something else. And again, big up to everyone that's contributed to this shift. Because again, it's a shame we're not getting the, the, you know what I mean? We should be getting dividends of this, but we're not. It's the guys that don't even listen to the Afrobeats that talk, that much. Do you get it? They're the ones in the offices making the, you know, the, the decisions and stuff. But I'm happy though. People are getting to hear it, see it. And yeah, man, it, colors are doing amazing. Yo, 
Ah oh, man, from the from the visuals to the yeah. music, they yeah, are man. smashing I lo- I, you know it. I'm is? sorry. I, I love I love they the fact that it is such it. A, a striking visual performance. I love the fact it's got the bold colors. Yeah, in the background. I love the fact. Yeah, it's like, a, like a turquoise or like a like a maroon. Yes. And it, but it's such they a tell clear the, color. Yes, they tell the artist pick a color, and it goes yeah. for this whatever color they and go for. Works, I think man. still one of the best one I've seen in a while. It has to be Pretty Boy Dio. This was a long time ago anyway. Yeah. When colors was just you know just yeah not really that platform just yet. They were still coming up he smashed it and ever since then i was like oh this is cool they should have more afrobeats i just said that to myself you know i was like mm, they should have more and now guess what every day not every day really i'm just exaggerating but you know it's, it's been, been a lot the recent the course. recent run there has been a lot man again i'm gonna jump into the chat quickly ik fuego good to see you sir as always um he's saying it's a toss-up between a star and oxlade also victor his colors was also good and also says chris mm, brown has always no, been for the culture though also yeah, no. All right, Chris Brown. Yes, he has, and obviously he said it multiple times. He have a he has a Nigerian friend. His best friend is Nigerian or something like that. So of course he's always been in touch. And let's be honest, he's one of those guys. He likes to dance. Yes, yeah. and Afro beats. The beats. What do you do with them? You dance. You dance to it. It's not like some ballad or something else. So he's always had that in in the locker. So since 2012 when he came to Ghana and he linked up with Whiskey, he's always to be fair. But then again. He's never, like I said, he's never shared a song this much. If you know what I mean, let's be honest. He he was an Afro nation. That's an African sort of, um, I would say like a massive, um, what do you call that? Festival that is, yeah, pretty much Africanized, I would say. And he's there, he's vibing, he's loving it. Most times you go on radio, what tunes are you hearing in a party? It's Afro beats, you know what I'm saying? So now again it's not it's no one's fault hip-hop had that in in 90 in 97 98 99 up till now hip-hop is still the biggest genre in the in the sense of you know what i'm saying so people would gravitate to what is trending what's popping because you need to make money you need to stay relevant you need to you know be there for people to say yeah you were there or you were there or you are still you're still there so yeah i get it i get it i mean commercialization is always part of thank you that's what it is so globalization i'm happy though it's because us now we're having fun with it you know we can talk we can have this without that we wouldn't you know i mean we'll just be talking to thin air because people be like what are they talking about what is afro beats what's that sound Um, okay (laughs) you know what you know what on this i i might i'll just dive into my favorites on it whilst that whilst we're on it Um, yes please do i think Mm. Ayers is my favorite, not because uh, not because she reshared it. Because <laughs> I was just waiting not, for you because, to not, say not, not because, not because, because of that, it, but because it this. because it was the first one, and for me it set like ah, a, it, it was the first one of this run. Set the tone, okay. Um, and also, I, I love yeah, the, true, I love true, the true. fact on that one you've got the little electronic chops in there. The fact you've got that. Yes, ah, yes, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. Ah, to be fair. And also, I, lo- yeah. I love. I just love that intro of uh, Moonwalk on you, motherfucker. Do they really rock on you? I just love that. Oh yes, I love that line. You know lyrics? Yeah, mad. I love that. Ayers, she's she's a star. I would say right Bodges is my second favourite. Mm. I would actually, I would actually put Oxlade as probably my third or fourth. Mm. And that's mm. purely because I love Bodges' vocals. I love, I love what he does that's vocal it. wise. There's, yeah, a, there's come a on, swagger vocal. to it. There's a coolness. There's just he just sounds like he's the coolest guy in every room you walk in. I swear down. You know what's mad? I'm so happy. Like this is so. Sometimes when I sit there and I just crack up to myself and I'm, I just crack up out of excitement, obviously. As I remember when Budge, them lot were like 18, 17, 19, when this came into the scene fresh. And everyone's like, yo, Budge is reminding us of this um, classic artist. That's a, like, they're talking about like an artist in Nigeria, obviously. And it's nice to see that actually yourself, you like his vocals. That's great because at some point, some people thought he was just going to be boxed into this. He's too, you know what I mean? He's too cultural. His sound sounds this, but it's dope that everyone is receiving it the way I think yes, man. About time. Do you know what I'm saying? Finally, Budge's out here doing his thing. You know what I mean? He's he's a legend, to be fair. Definitely, man. Definitely, man. the legend, man. He's well, a legend. There we go. Um, well, we're going to round Love off that. there because I'm going to jump mm. into a bit of a, a bit of a mix. Banks, I've got to say, it's always a pleasure to get you on at the show. It's always great to get you on the channel Brother, as well. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure, I man. Appreciate always it, man. Good. I'm sure we're going to jump back on another edition of oh, the uh, Reactors Roundtable soon. We need to do another football podcast soon as well. Oh yeah, yeah, um, oh yeah. We need, to do, we need to do a transfer <laughs> special. We need to transfer special. That's what we need to do. Yeah. Um, come on bro. and yes, uh, yeah there's loads of stuff as always guys um do make sure you do go and follow banks i will leave a link in the and if you uh, don't, description down I will below find you I'll actually i'll tell you what you. i'll tell you what i'll do now i'll put a link into the actual chat right now as yeah. we go live live guys if you don't follow me i'll find you <laughs> and 
<laughs> I'm joking. I would not. Well, put it this way: he found he found he found me in the middle of Shoreditch. So he, yeah, he will. yeah, exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Cobb. Thank you. Let them know. Let them know. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, I appreciate you, man. Thanks, man. Every time, Thanks for man. always Thanks for putting on. this together. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cobb Camp TV. Stay locked.